guys, welcome back to the Zimmerly East channel. I'm Nick Zimmerly. Um, and so today I'm doing a little bit of work in the kitchen. And in a previous video, I had uh, mentioned that I would demonstrate how to remove the copa muscle from a Boston butt, or also known as pork shoulder, to make uh, capicola. That was my capicola video. And so that muscle that we cured became the capicola. And so today I'll show you how to remove that muscle. It's kind of rare that you could go to a butcher and request the copa muscle be removed because the Boston butt is usually uh, a whole piece that's sold on its own in most places. So uh, sometimes you get lucky and you'll have a butcher that'll go out of, his way, go out of his way to do that. But here you've got a pork shoulder, also known as Boston butt, um, that I bought at the store. And so the muscle's right around here. And so I'm gonna show you how to remove that. And then all the rest of this can be used for uh, salamis and roulettes and um, sausages, whatever you want to use it for. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we've got our decent size um, <clears throat> pork shoulder. And so right here, if you look right here, this whole thing right here is going to be your copa. And you can see these little lines right here. That's how you know that's that side. And then the other side will look like that, just a bunch of pork. So um, this all right here, will be used for salami making. And this right here, once we take it off, which really, if you look right here, you'll be able to literally pull that muscle away from the other muscle. And that way you can judge where to cut. Um, and just be careful not to cut into your copa muscle because you're gonna wanna use that. So, what I like to do is just pull it back a little bit. That way I can get a for sure um, view on where I'm gonna need to cut. So I'm gonna speed this up a bit, but you'll see me just following this area right here. So as you can see, we more or less, so on this other side is a big layer of fat. So we can more, more or less, uh, you know, almost there. So um, if you wanted to, you could just cut through all the way through that fat and then trim off that fat um, instead of having to worry about getting all the way through and trimming it off while it's all So we've got down to this, that layer of fat, which is all right here, um, past all this. And so, essentially, I just want to make sure we're at the right spot. And essentially, we can just slice straight through that and then So there's that fat layer, and we're gonna just trim that off, and you'll see our copa here in a second. And this, all right here, once it's uh, removed from the bone, uh, you can grind all that up and make uh, any type of salami you really want to with that. Uh, you know what? Instead of fumbling around to find a spot to cut, we're just going to follow this right here.
Now, some of this fat will also kind of pull straight from the muscle. As you can see right here, trying to get as much of it off as possible just because um, I don't like risking cutting it to my coat muscle. And that's just me being paranoid. So, um, And of course, if you have a better way to remove this fat layer, then by all means, uh, you can do that. Just as long as you have a good uh, shaped copa. So, after a little trimming, we're going to trim some of this other fat off. And all this extra fat can be used in your salami making, because you do need a fair amount of fat in a salami to make it not so dry. Okay, so I've trimmed all this uh, excess fat and just uh, and just flaps of meat off, and so what we've got here is our copa. This is a pretty good sized copa muscle, um, and that'll make some nice capicola. Okay, so as you saw, we've got our copa muscle right here, um, and this is I'm gonna cure this today, and hopefully in the next. Uh, 10 weeks or so, I'll have some beautiful, tasty capricola. And then also, we've got all of our, I have some trim, and I also have this nice big piece, which gotta remove the bone, uh, but that will all be used for some salami. So uh, later today, hopefully, or maybe tomorrow, I'll get uh, started on my video on sausage sauce sec, which is a French dried sausage. So stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching.